So this week, uh, we all talk about the last part of the uh, programming design. So that is called class. Uh, so last week, we introduced the function. And this week, uh, let's talk about class. Uh, so why uh, class matters? So we know that Python is one type of the object oriented programming. So um, that means that in Python, we can use those programmer defined types to organize codes and also data. Uh, we already said that the most of those computations that uh, in Python is operations expressed as operations on objects. And those objects can be used to, to represent things that in the real world. OK, so that is the one advantage of the object oriented programming. So by using this object oriented programming, uh, so we can define some objects in Python or in any other uh, object oriented programming that is actually easier for us to understand uh, our uh, codes and also easier for us to organize the Python codes. OK, so you may not feel the advantage of using oriented uh, object oriented programming yet. So but hopefully uh, after this class, you will see the power of using those uh, object oriented programming. So we said that objects can be can be used to represent any stuff in, in the real world. So for example, we can have a person object and that person can has can have multiple behaviors like they can go to shopping. OK, uh, and they can have take have dinner. OK, so etc. So that we can use our program to to um, design those more complicated um, um, behaviors or actions in Python. All right, so to create those objects, so we need a blueprint so that um, so that uh, for the for example for the persons, so they have some common attributes. Uh, for example, each person has a name. Okay, or they have some other features like a date of birth. And they can also do something like they have some method or the actions like they can go to shop, um, go for shopping or having dinners. So those are the actions that they can do. And those are the attributes of those persons. So classes are essentially a template to create those objects. So when we create, when we want to use object, first we have to define the classes. So those are the templates. So by defining the classes, we can know that, OK, so what kind of features we are looking for? OK, and once we have those classes, uh, we can create object from this pr from this defined class. And in that case, uh, creating an object from a class and is called instant um, tation. Um, and also the object is an instance of that class. Okay, so this is a, a little bit abstract. So let's see one example. So here we see we define a class for the car. So those you can consider the class um, as blueprint. And next we can have those objects. So the object may might be slightly different. For example, they have different type of the cars and they have different colors, etc. OK, so those are the class and also objects. All right, so how to define a class? So class has method, so that can be like we predefine actions. Um, it can, the method is actually a class method is a function that is defined inside of the class. OK, so, so now you can see that how we can combine functions together with classes. So within each class, we can define their specific functions. And those methods is invoked 
on the instance of that class. So once we create define a class and we can from class, we can create objects and those objects can call those method. OK, can call those method. And class also have attribute. So those are just the named values that associate with those objects. So again, when we define a class and we can create object from that class and those class can also call those attribute. OK, and let's see the um, syntax of defining class. So we use class keyword and also followed by the class name and also remember the colon. And after that, we need indentation so that we tell that the following part belong to the definition of this class. So here we can define the class attribute, which equals something. Uh, we can also define the class method, which actually essentially is a function. And the argument, the first argument is always self. OK, so the first argument is always self and colon. And now for this function, we need indentation that so tell Python, okay, so this piece of code belong to this function. We also need further indentation, tell Python, okay, so this piece of code still belong to the class definition. All right, so let's see an example that uh, in Python editor. Okay, uh, so let's go to our um, Python editor and let's go to our a local repository so that is i241 and let's update our update our local repository and let's create our new python file so this is lecture 9.py all right uh, so let's add a uh, regional comments so lecture 9 class okay uh, so now let's create our uh, define our first class. So as we said, it is class keyword, and in this case let's define a car. Okay, as we said in our uh, previous example. So let's define a blueprint for the car. Where well, let's say uh, the maker equals Toyota. Okay, uh, so this is an attribute of this car. And let's also define a method, which essentially is a function. So let's call it uh, report the maker. OK, so that is a method of this class. And um, the argument, the first argument is always self. OK, colon. And now let's say we can do something for the maker. So let's say we just want to return um, the maker of the car. So the maker of the car is the attribute of this self argument. So that is self dot maker. OK, so in class, if you want to call the attribute of this class, you have used self dot that class. All right, so now we have a class that uh, has been defined. Uh, it has a, an attribute, which is Toyota. And it also has a method, which actually is a function within a class. And the function will just report the maker of that car, which also is a Toyota. So now let's create an instance. So we know that once we have the blueprint, we need to create the object following that blueprint. So the object is my car equals and that car parentheses. So the object equals class parentheses. OK, so this is the way that we can create an instance. And now let's say print my car dot. So let's now try the method that of that car. So report dot maker. And now let's write. OK, so now you can see it just reported the maker of that car. So that is Toyota. OK, again, we just created define a class. We call it car, which has an attribute, which is Toyota. 
Uh, it also has a method, which essentially is a function in a class. And the function will report the attribute of the maker. And after we have defined that class, so we create an object from this class. So this object is actually an instance. And uh, once we have this object, and we are calling the method of that object that is in this uh, defined in this class. And now we can say it will return the attribute of the Toyota. Okay, so that is uh, how to define a class.